Yes. State Assembly Member 20th yes. District of San Jose. You know what? Just go live. Just go, go live. Okay. We're natural. Five yeah. minutes. We're not scripted here. Just five minutes. Yeah, start the wind-down process. Three, two, one. Cool. Perfect. And boom, we're live. I'm with Osh Kora, 27th District, San Jose State Assembly Member. We want to break down for you, bring you guys some value, just talk about what is a State Assembly Member? What does he do? I want to learn at the same time. So thank you guys for you guys that are joining us. If you ask any questions, we'll get to them at the end if we can and try our best. And we'll be sharing this, uploading it later. But Tash, take the floor. Educate me. Let's uh, let's learn a little bit today from the man oh, yeah. himself. So um, a lot of us learn when we go to school about federal government. We learn about president, Supreme Court, we right. learn about the House of Representatives and the U.S. Senate, the Congress, right? And so the state assembly is the state level part of that same system, but for the state jurisdiction. Right. And so similar, um, similar to the federal government, federal government you have, and I'm really bad at drawing, so keep that in mind, people, please. Audio. Um, <laughs> you have the president, right? Right. So in the White House is the president, executive branch. Well, similarly, we have the governor. So we have the governor. At the state level. The state level. Highest to the top. So... Fed, California state. Okay? okay. So that's one branch of the government. We have a court system just like the federal government. The judiciary system. So judicial, Supreme Court, and everything below it. Supreme Court. Okay. Supreme Court. So you have the Supremes. It's not an address. There. Because I put the Supremes. Uh, I love Motown. Thank you for Chelsea. <laughs> Chelsea's the camera woman today. Chelsea's the camera. She's shaking. Blame her, okay? She's trying. She's laughing. She's, she's trying hard. Okay. Go back to it and distract us. Okay, so there's one, two, and then finally we get the legislative branch. So, Roman, legislative branch. At the federal government level, what are the two branches of the two houses? Okay, oh, uh, oh, so we have the, the, the Senate? The Senate. Yep, so Senate, and then the lower half is yourself of the California State Legislature. Oh, well, no, the, well, we have federal government. The Senate and the House of Representatives. House of Representatives. Right? So, House of Representatives. So, this is what we all learned. This is the stuff we learned when we went to high school all that. Right. right. But we don't, pay, we don't pay attention to the matters in yeah. our life. So, that's, so, these are the three branches of government. One, two, three. The checks and balances. Well, we have the same thing in California. Our third branch is... The legislature, which is made up of the Senate, just like at the federal level. Which is the California State Legislature. And the State Assembly. Got it. Lower half, upper half. And then we have 80 representatives just of the State Assembly, or is that? Oh, well, let me get to that right now. So we have, we have, we're talking about the number, there are almost 40 million people in California. And we have 80 reps here in the Assembly, and 40 senators. So each Senate district is you know, about a million people. <laughs> and so it's, it's a huge, huge area, both physically in some cases, depending on where you are in the state, certainly in terms of responsibility. Right. Really people. We have, in you know, each of our assembly districts, approximately 470,000 people each. Got it. And so it's, it, it's a huge area. Um, it, it, there are many, most cities don't have many people. Of course, San Jose, we have over a million, but... My district alone is almost half of San Jose. Correct. Um, and 46%. San Jose, we have two, yourself, and... Well, there are three more. Wow. Okay. There are three. So in San Jose, I represent about half of San Jose. So we're right now in the capital of the state office, mm -hmm. uh, in my district office, uh, which is in downtown San Jose, in the state building, uh, pretty close to San Jose State University. I represent so downtown all the way to East San Jose, down to the Southeast San Jose, Silver Creek, Evergreen area, to South San Jose, where I am, the Edenville area, uh, a little west of that, to Vista Park area by 87. Eastern and Southern Eastern. Yeah, Eastern. Southeast and South, South San Jose down to where I am, which is um, near Monterey Highway, Branham Lane area down there. Uh, we have the new Marshall Cottle Park, 87 Freeway, we go right up north, Communication Hill, back up to downtown, mm -hmm. including uh, Deer Dawn train station and the Shark Tank and all that and everything east of there. Mm -hmm. So that's a huge area. And that's 100% in San Jose. Now, to the west of me, we have Evan Lowe. So, 
we're just west of that, all the way as you, you know, go to, to Campbell right. and, and Cupertino and all of that, yeah. you know. Okay. <laughs> uh, so Campbell, yeah. That, okay. You go south, so that's the west, the south of the Almaden, Santa Teresa, and all that, oh, okay. it's Mark Stone. Right. And he goes all the way down to Santa Cruz. And then north of me, in the Berryessa area, and where the airport is, is Kansas and Chu. And that includes, he has also Santa Clara, and it goes all the way up to Fremont. Norpita is Fremont. So I feel very fortunate that of all the San Jose representatives, I'm the only one that's completely in San Jose. Uh, but those other three are what we call part of the San Jose delegation. So for example, recently we were able to get funding, uh, $5.4 million of funding for flood victims. It was the entire delegation. Me, along with the other three assembly members, Senator Jim Bell, Senator Bob Wykowski, we combined together to make that budget request uh, for the flood victims. And so we have our own delegation here, even though they represent other cities as well. There's no doubt they're an important part of representing San Jose, too. In fact, many of them came from San Jose, right. uh, either City Hall. Uh, I served with Kansas Shu in City Hall in San Jose. Uh, many served on school boards or in other capacities that represented San Jose to some extent as well. Wonderful. Yeah. When I put it in a sentence, that was really cool about the Abraham Lincoln Latin quotation that's right there in your guys' chair. It says, the duty of uh, legislatures is to pass laws. Yeah. Right? It's a pretty you guys, simple. That was the thesis. We make the laws. That's yeah. it. You guys, you guys do that. You guys discuss those. And for those who are, who are wondering, essentially that's the difference of when you see AB on a bill versus SB on a bill. Those are bills put forth by a Senate bill versus an assembly bill. That's right. right? SB, assembly bill, Senate bill, AAB, assembly bill. Um, and we have thousands of bills that go through the legislature, uh, a couple thousand that go through every year. And, um, some of them make it all the way through. There's a lot of reasons why some get delayed or don't make it through. Right. But it's a lot of policy work. You know, we make the bill proposals. It's our staff as well as the staff that's in the Capitol mm -hmm. and in the different departments. Mm -hmm. And so one thing there is also that we have different committees. I chair the Aging and Long-Term Care Committee. I'm also on the Housing Committee, the Judiciary Committee, Labor Committee, and Privacy and Consumer Protection. The bills go through there. Right. And each of those committees have their own staff that specializes on those topics. Right. We also have an entire team of lawyers that are uh, nonpartisan. They give legal advice mm -hmm. as well as help craft the language. Because these are all laws, after all. They have to be written in a certain way. Right. You know, I can say I want um, an ice cream stand on every corner. Yeah, yeah. Like, but that, if, if that just doesn't become a law, then right. you can actually make it a law by using the terminology and, and, and using the appropriate language. Uh, and that's what our legislative council does. Uh, again, agnostic to what the actual purpose of the bill is, uh, but they help us craft it in a way that Literature. makes sense. They make amendments, make suggestions on how we can make our bills better. Right. But um, yeah, and so there's a whole team of, of really thousands of people that help to craft these laws, put them in, into uh, the books, to make them official, and then of course we have the different departments under the governor's office, the executive branch, Department of Public Health, Right. Um, and, and what have you that actually execute the laws that are made by the legislature. Awesome. And then if there are any disputes mm -hmm. as to the legality of that, then it goes to the court system. Right. right? And so they check the, the legality based on the, the U.S. Constitution, the California Constitution, as well as a wide range of other limitations that we have as lawmakers right. uh, in, in terms of bridging on the rights of businesses or, or Resident, the residents or and, and tweaks will be made and then they'll just be redrafted and then um, I was reading that the financial committee also has to take a look at these yeah. right and kind of see if the numbers make sense on whatever it's right. we're putting forth and, and different tastes of that and just a fun fact well, for you guys I know where do we have our state capitals we were out in Benicia Vallejo San Jose at one point in a yeah, hotel yeah. San Jose was the first capital was the first yeah, right 18 established yep. and I think that the that year they had really, really horrible storms, and they didn't have paved Remember roads that. everywhere. Right. Um, they all the streets were all well, muddy and all that. So people came all over California and they had a horrible experience. Or the inaugurations, they were like on a, on a boat. <laughs> yes. Well, it was flooded so bad. We, we have those experiences still to this day. Yes. Yes. On the case. Yes, repeat so. But uh, but in any case, they did move to Sacramento, mm -hmm. and um, that's where it's been uh, for most of our state's history. Great meeting. Great meeting. How's it going, Chelsea? We, we don't have any crazy questions. Stacy walked in here. I wanted you to put her on the spot and introduce her, but that's okay. She's all, all gun. Um, oh, Ash, 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 Ash. I want to say Ash, not Ash. Call, <laughs> call, not car. And I'm saying that because I keep screwing that up as long as I know. This gentleman, uh, I don't blame anybody else for that. 
So we talked about the, the stages, and that's very cool. I think it kind of educated people because people have wondered, what is a state assembly board or assembly member? What is their function? What do they do? I want to throw a curveball about one thing I discussed with you before, if it's on uh, off tangent, but let's say you have any person, any person who's concerned about anything going on um, at the state level, anything that needs to be changed, what most of them will do is they'll just complain about it on Facebook. But if they wanted to, to show real change, real peaceful change, what will be some suggestions? I know it's a tough question depending on the subject matter. Yeah. Uh, what what, what they, could they do? Start a petition, start sure. something, contact their local decision yeah, they makers? They contact us. I mean, there are different jurisdictions. It's yes. a city issue. They contact the city. It's a county issue and right. so on. But right. anytime anyone contacts our office, we will kind of triage it. We'll figure out exactly what jurisdiction it is mm -hmm. and we'll, we'll connect them with that office. Wonderful. And so if you're in the city of San Jose, if it's a city issue, find out who your council member is. The, you know, council members are so accessible. They're everywhere. They're community events. Absolutely. Go to a community event, meet them, so that when an issue comes up, you at least feel like you have a connection with that office. You know, your right. state assembly member, same thing. Uh, down to the local school boards and right. county supervisors. Yep. And so uh, we're here to serve. Uh, that doesn't mean we can always get the answer that everybody wants, but mm -hmm. our job is at least get an answer right. to questions that people have. Or you can right. educate yourself about the process exactly. that you didn't know existed. Exactly. Or right. if you have a policy suggestion or if there's something that you think that doesn't work well, and you let us know, and, yep. and, and that helps to inform us mm -hmm. as your elected leaders. Yep. We get informed by that, and that goes into our calculation. We're looking at different policies and rules or the proposals that are put before us. Right. We'll have the experience based upon our residents and what they, the feedback they've given us. And that was really my, my goal today. Is we, we all, you know, we all may not vote. We may, may not care and say, "Why should we care? This is not going to affect me." Until it affects one of them personally yeah. or their loved one, and. Um, I think everybody, as I got older and wiser, that we should all get involved in you know all these little decisions that um, Osh is doing, which we're grateful for and thankful for. He knows it's so certain that these affect everyone, and I think that's a very beautiful thing. And for those of you who are watching, we'll try to share this uh, this live feed later, and I'll upload it uh, to YouTube. Uh, reach out, even if uh, Osh is not here, we'd love to to get in touch with you or reach out to somebody uh, and, and kind of point you in the right direction. Um, and that's where we're at now. We're yeah, if you're, not sure, if you're not sure, our number is 408-277-1220. And we're in yeah, the one, 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 two, two, zero. You contact us, explain to us what your issue is. If it's a congressional issue, we have a wonderful congresswoman, Zoe Lofgren, right. forward to her office. If it's a city issue, we we'll connect with all the city council members, the mayor's office, city management. So you, know, you can always come to us if you're not sure as well right. about like, you know, where do you go for this you know, sewer issue or an issue with the streetlight being out. Um, those are city issues, by the way. Uh, you can contact them, but if you're not sure, you can always contact us too. Man, I think that was perfect. We could talk about a million subjects, but that's kind of a outline, big picture knowledge, and I know I learned something. I hope you guys learned something too. So, Osh, thank you. Many thanks for the time, man. You know, you had a crazy day. It's Friday. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but we love you all, and we look forward to hearing from you guys. All right. Cheers. Amen. <laughs>